Hi hey guys, welcome to the Fury Time channel. Princess Nagano fight has a lot of property for Anthony Joshua, so he's at the hand. Nigeria will box the former UFC champion in Saudi Arabia. Anthony Joshua will not simply bulldoze his way through Francis Nagano and must seek to wear out the mixed martial artist turned the boxer before landing and in a cow blow. According to Eddie Hearn, Nagano may have lost the element of surprise after a staggering professional boxing debut to last October, when the former UFC heavyweight champion knocked down Tyson Fury before losing a debatable decision. But promoter Hearn thinks Nagano poses a sizable challenge despite his novice status and is unlikely to fold as so many of Joshua's past opponents have done when confronted by his frightening punch power. It's definitely a fight with a lot of jeopardy, and Hearn told. You really have to be on your guard for this fight. You've got to be rather sharp. Francis has surprised everybody. He is one stubborn competitor, and it's not going to be easy. You will have to knock him down and keep banging and banging and banging anyway. This isn't going to be one hit under the chin. Clearly, he is an immovable object with a fantastic chin and big, big power. You've got to be really smart in this fight. Don't get hit, break him down, and happily, he will go over like a big tower. And we can just move on. The fight against Nagano and Rizia will be a thought in the space of 11 miles for Joshua who is trying to boost his hopes to becoming a three-time world heavyweight champion. The pair go head-to-head -head on 18th May in the first undisputed world heavyweight title fight. Hearn is keeping his fingers crossed. It is Fury who prevails. I really want Fury to win his fight because if AJ can do a job on Ganu, it just sets up the biggest fight in the history of the sport, in my opinion, between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, Hearn added. Francis Ngannou has sent a chilling message ahead of his boxing showdown with Anthony Joshua. Nothing is impossible, right? We don't know the strength of Anthony Joshua. But even though I don't believe he has that strength, but we are going to find out, Ngannou said. We are going to find out and I think the reverse is going to happen. I'm going to be the one taking his soul. I won, Ngannou said. Ngannou impressed in his boxing debut last October, when he stunningly knocked down WBC champ Tyson Fury in a close split decision. The judges may not have given Ngano the win, but in his mind, he was still victorious. I won, look at me now, look at my life, look at where I was, where you think I lost. You think because some foolish judges make some decision that change anything in my life. My family that I was telling you about, they were sitting in the first row watching that fight. The dream that I was in science, I was kid, I was at night, living the dream on top of the world, I was there. And for all the people, that have been inducting me, I was there proving them wrong for everybody that ever looked me down. I was there proving them wrong. I won everything, Francis said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.